Today I'm going to show you how I master my tracks for ACX so that way they always hit the tech requirements. You're never getting that message saying that something's wrong and then you spend forever trying to figure it out. I'm going to show you how to do that and hit the mark every single time. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need the RMS Normalize plugin that is not part of the standard Audacity package when you download it. So, I'm going to put a link down in the video description. You need to go download that, install it, and we'll stop here. And then once you have it installed, start back up and we'll go from there. As you can see here, I have a track that I recorded here. It is unmastered. It is just uh, plain audio. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind. Paul Newman and a ride home. So there we go, the opening line from S.E. Hinton's The Outsiders. Um, right now it's completely unmastered. So the first thing you need to do before we go any further with this is one, make sure you have clean audio. So this is all going to work based on the idea that you have a decent recording space. It doesn't have to be a booth like I have. It just has to be something where it's quiet, you don't have a lot of extraneous noise, you don't have room noise. Uh, room echo, uh, reverb, all of that. This is also going to suppose that you've already proofed your track and done all of your QA so that the words are accurate, however you go about doing that, um, and that you've gone through, and if you happen to have a problem with getting a lot of clicks and mouth noises, uh, that you've gone through and removed all of that. Okay, That's all assuming this is done. We're now at the mastering stage. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we need to set all of our parameters. I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'm going to show you the parameters that I use, and I'm going to show you how I've set up some macros and shortcuts that make this go even a little bit faster. Got to select the whole track first. Now we go to Graphic Equalizer. And what you want this set up for, uh, if you go to Manage Factory Presets, you want low roll off for speech. That's where you want this. That's going to create the little waveform. It's going to help. You see this the track shifted a little slight very slightly. You're not going to hear a difference though. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie. So it doesn't really change the tone of the track that you can hear, but when we start applying the other effects and we get to the mastering process, it's going to make a big deal, okay? So that's the first thing you want. You don't actually have to apply it right now, but um, I'm going to undo that. Oh, there we go. All right, effect number two uh, that we're going to be applying is the RMS Normalize, and you'll see it'll appear on the bottom end of your plugins here. And for this, target RMS levels, you want to set your level to minus 20 and normalize stereo channels independently. Okay, that's what we want this to be. All right, but we don't have to do anything with it right now, so we're going to leave it alone. The third effect that we need to do on here is from the limiter. And this is part of the standard Audacity package. Now for this, a few more settings here. The first two were pretty simple. Limiter, we need type soft limit. You're going to leave your input gain at zero for right and left here. Limit uh, to decibels, limit to dB, minus 3.5. Okay, that'll make sure up here in your, uh, in your levels here, it doesn't go ever above 3.5. This will ensure that you're meeting the ACX standards. Hold milliseconds, leave that at 10. Apply makeup gain, no. Make sure your settings match this. All right, but again, we're not going to apply it right now. We're just making sure that this is what's in the system right now for when we set up our macros. So this is a lot easier than it might appear. We're going to come to Tools, Macros, and we're going to create a new one. Now, I already have one set up here called ACX Mastering where I have everything in here. We're going to basically recreate this. So I'm going to create a new one, and we'll just call it I'm going to call it test, call it whatever you wanted to call it, okay? So we're going to in start inserting things here. So we're going to insert, and it makes it real simple for you. ACX brings everything up for you. The first thing we need to do is select the entire track. So I'm going to come over and look up select. Where is it here? 
Uh, here we, oh, select, select track start to end. And we're going to say OK. So now we know that when we do this macro, the first thing it's going to do is take the entire track. All right. Now we're going to insert the graphic equalizer. Graphic EQ. And you see what it's actually doing is it's picking up all of those settings that we just had it set to. Now, if we wanted to, we could go in individually and change all of these settings in the macro itself. It doesn't have to match what was already in there, but this makes it a lot easier to do it this way. So now we're going to insert RMS Normalize. RMS Normalize. So now we have this, and you can see it's got all the target 20. See, it's the same thing we just had in there. Insert. Finally, we're going to add Limiter. We're going to find limiter. OK. Boom. This is basically, you can see now, yes, I want to save the changes. This is going to be the exact same thing that I have uh, in, my, in my test is what I have in ACX, my, my, the one that I have set up. OK. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete this because I don't need it anymore. But another macro that you, that you might want to create here is called what I called uh, merge clips. OK, and what I did is I created one that was select uh, select track start to end. And then I used the join feature and that takes all of the clips within an individual audio track and gets rid of that little line there and it makes it one single track. It makes things a lot easier in the end when I'm going to export and do all of the things that I need to do. So that's another macro that you'll probably want to put in there. All right, we have ACX mastering done. We have merge clips. Now we're going to create one for noise reduction. It's the same process. New. You're going to start inserting things. Select track, start to end. And then you're going to select, uh, add in your noise reduction. And it's going to use those presets that you just set. You can see here, factory defaults. Now that we have all that, we can set up our keyboard shortcuts. No, nope, we can't. Hang on. Because, no, we're fine. <clears throat> All right, now we can set up our, now we can set up our uh, keyboard shortcuts. We're going to go to preferences. We're going to come over to, if it comes up, keyboard shortcuts. We're going to set up keyboard shortcuts for all of those things that we just did. So um, we're going to set up one for uh, merging the clips. OK, so you can see merge clips. I have I have set the keyboard shortcut to control shift J because nothing else was using that. So you can probably set up the same thing now with just hitting control shift J. Whatever track is active, it's going to join all those clips, get rid of those little clip lines. And we've made it one track. That's the first thing. It's going to make things a lot easier. The next thing I need to do is set up a noise reduction uh, keyboard shortcut. For this, I used control shift N um, for noise reduction because control N and shift N were being used for other shortcuts. So I've applied uh, noise reduction. And all you have to do is type in the effect that you want to do into here. And then you can set this. Then you can set it to whatever keyboard uh, inputs you put down here. We'll then set it, uh, set it up as the keyboard shortcut. So you want to do noise reduction. Uh, then we're going to set up the mastering. So we're going to say ACX mastering. And for that, I have control shift M uh, as my keyboard shortcut for mastering the track. And the final one is I want to be able to export the track. And I have here export selected audio. So that way, once I've selected my entire track, I can just hit control shift E and boom, I send it off to the races. It's little things, but it does save time and clicks and frustration. So. Now that we have, we have our audio, we have our macros, and we have our shortcuts, we can master the audio. Doing this little bit of work now is going to save you a ton of time later. So we have our audio. The first thing I do is if there were, if I had clips in there, um, so let's see if we can make it do this. All right. So you see how we have a clip right here? Now I could just click on that and it goes away, but if I've done 
a 20 minute long audio uh, uh, audiobook chapter, there's gonna be a lot of those and that takes a lot of time to do that. So for this, we're gonna use our join feature. So control shift J, boom, it's now gone. Imagine that happening 50 more times throughout the track. Just saved you a ton of time right there, okay? Now, again, this is presuming that you've already done your, uh, you've already done your proofing and the track is where you want it. We're just at the mastering stage now. So the first thing I'm going to do, now that I've done all of the joining, I'm now going to master the track. Control Shift M. Now, on a longer track, it's going to take 5, 10 seconds to do sometimes. So now I have my audio. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only... So, to... So to me, this sounds pretty good. But, a couple problems. One... If you were using that silence audio uh, uh, trick to get rid of some of the clicks and everything, if I did that right here, for example, you're going to notice a difference. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only... You see, that for, for someone listening is really going to be... Uh, it's going to be distracting. This is where the noise reduction comes in. So we have... We can hear there's a little bit of a hiss. We're fine. We could submit it this way and it would be fine. But for me, I don't want to have that silence in there distracting people. So here's how you do the noise reduction. I'm going to select some clean audio. I don't want to have anything else in there. I just want that little hiss. Okay. I will come up to tools or excuse me, up to effect noise reduction. I need to get the noise profile first. This is going to tell the noise reduction filter what it needs to listen for and remove. So I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to use my Control shift n for noise reduction. All right. When I stepped out yeah. into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind. It's less noticeable. Now there's a breath in there. I understand that I would have done this cleaner if this were a real track. Um, but now it's much cleaner and you're really not going to notice it much better. I pref That's how I do it. And... It never fails the ACX check, so I think we should be all right. So the final thing we need to do is make sure that we don't have too much tail or, or too much uh, lead in. Uh, ACX requires, uh, they say, about a second and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up to about a second, and a, half, a second and a half. It doesn't need to be exact. What I will do is I will silence the beginning and end of the track because sometimes I get little clicks as I first start speaking for the chapter there and that can actually cause you to fail uh, an ACX uh, 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 it'll cause you to fail ACX requirements if there's any sounds in that first one, uh, uh, second and a half so now when I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house I had only two things on my mind Paul Newman and a ride home there we go. So now we have our track. It is mastered. It is ready to go. The last thing we need to do is export it. So I will double click on the track because there's no clips in it. It grabs the entire track. Control Shift E and boom. Oh, that's a project I just wrapped up. I can now save it. Uh, you want to save it as an MP3 file. Okay. Uh, that's how ACX wants it. It does not require a WAV format. Uh, you do want it to be constant for the bit rate, and you need the quality to be 192 kilobytes per second. Um, I used to use a uh, variable and try to go really high with it. It Sometimes it succeeded, sometimes it didn't. So just go constant, 192 kilobytes per second. You'll export it, and when you uh, upload it to ACX, it'll pass it every time. Now, I will say every now and again, and I mean like once in every 100 tracks or so, I'll get a message saying that the RMS floor is, too, or that the noise floor is too low. It's super, super rare. All you need to do is if I had this track and, I, and it failed, all I would do is just master it one more time. I would just hit that mastering uh, shortcut, Control Shift M. I would run it one more time. When I stepped out, you can't hear a difference, but for some reason now it meets uh, ACX requirements. So that I'm going to back that up. Upload the track again. 
try one more time. Sometimes when you upload it, ACX gets a little twitchy and it says, nope, this doesn't meet requirements. I'll always try to re-upload the exact same track again. And if that doesn't work, then I will remaster, I'll run that master filtering over it one more time and upload it again. That tends to do it. So that is how you can quickly master ACX uh, tracks for ACX to meet their tech re requirements and spend less time wrestling over that part and more time making silly voices into a microphone by yourself. Hope this helps.